Hi there, welcome to Neppy Grades the World. Although based off today's topic, maybe we should rename this as Neppy Grades Universe, because in today's episode, we're going to venture out into our solar system and have a good look at Saturn's hexagon. So what is Saturn's hexagon? It is simply a persistent hexagonal cloud pattern around the North Pole of Saturn. Now, in 1981, Voyager 2 took uh, a photo of this pattern, so they didn't really know this existed. That's the image on the left. And when Cassini visited in 2009, image on the right, this uh, shaped pattern remained, which actually suggested a very remarkably stable atmospheric wave existed there. So what causes uh, this hexagonal shape? Is it aliens? Mm, yeah, no. It is essentially a six-sided jet stream, or just a current of quickly moving air, about 300 kilometers per hour, that follows the hexagon's outline. Now some interesting facts about Saturn's hexagon, or as it is known, the hexagon. Number one. Although Voyager 2 took the first photos in 1981 of the, this phenomenon, it's not discovered until 1988 when some scientists were reviewing the data from the Voyager 2 visit. Cassini then confirmed its existence. Number two, there is a raging storm at the center or a hurricane with an eye 50 times larger than the average eye on Earth. Number three, it is about 32,000 kilometers wide and the sides of the hexagon are about 14,500 kilometres long. That is 2,000 kilometres longer than Earth's diameter. And that just shows you how big the hexagon is. Number four, to the, to the surprise of scientists, it is between 100 and 300 kilometres deep. Number five, the points of the hexagon rotate around its centre at almost exactly the same rate as Saturn rotates on its axis. Number six, during the Cassini visit, the hexagon changed color from blue to gold. Now, understandably, the hexagon has intrigued scientists, just like it's intrigued me. And anything we're intrigued by, we want to understand, and this is no different. In 2015, scientists at the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology seem to have accurately modeled the formation of the hexagon. This is an image or GIF of uh, what, they, what they actually did achieve. So the explanation is this. The team ran a series of simulations of an eastward Gaussian profile jet around Saturn's pole. They introduced small perturbations to the jet and demonstrated that, as a result of the perturbations, the jet can meander into a hexagonal shape. With the initial conditions of the team's model, the meandering jet is able to settle, settle into a stable hexagonal shape that rotates with nearly the same period as Saturn's rotational period. This seems like the most accurate model we have to date. Now for the final grade, of Saturn's hexagon or the hexagon. Ever since I knew of its existence, the hexagon has intrigued me. And even though I have learned about how it's formed and the reasons behind its existence, that doesn't lessen its intrigue at all. And the fact that this is a weather-derived system with a huge, quickly moving jet stream around the edge and then in the middle, there's this massive vortex or this hurricane with this huge eye at the middle with all these little weather perturbations around the inside of the hexagon. This has to get an A+. Plus. There is nothing else. And it just proves, I think, how amazing nature is. That's all for Nepi Grades of World this time, or Nepi Grades of Universe. Have a good day, and until next time. Catch you later.